Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a brand new episode of Uni Cooking with Peter. Now today is sort of an impromptu episode so I haven't really got much sorted but well no, technically I have because it's an impromptu episode which means that I want to show you something but still what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making egg bacon fried rice. Now this is literally one of my favourite things in the entire world because it is ridiculously easy to make and it's just absolutely really tasty. Yeah! And for this little quick impromptu meal, you will need the following. Okay, so maybe at this point I would be telling you exactly what to put inside the meal, but because unfortunately the camera didn't actually record when I was bringing up all of the ingredients and stuff, I'm just going to have to tell you without actually showing them what they are. Um, but they're really simple. All you need is three eggs, six rashers of bacon, one onion, and I use three of these two minute microwavable rice things which you will see later on in the show. For our egg bacon fried rice we will need our special friend, our special friend being the wok. Now I know that I've used the wok like loads of times in this series but the wok is amazing! If I could marry the wok I would but then again I suppose that would be slightly wokist or frying panist or panist. I don't know, would it be panist? Could you marry a wok? I don't know. There are people who marry inanimate there objects. There are people who marry inanimate objects, but then again, I don't really want to get too up and close and personal with the what? Okay. You'll also need a measuring jug, because what we're going to do is we're going to get our little eggs here, say hello eggs, and then we're just going to put them in the microwave to make scrambled egg, which I will go through at the right time. So once you've got your ingredients sorted, what you want to do is you want to slice and dice your onion. Ugh, cutting onions. It's always such an emotional affair. Oh my eyes, Christ. Go on. If anyone's got any decent tips of act, like no none of those weird old wives tales like standing on your face while holding a carrot makes you not cry, but any real ones that actually work, could you let me know? Cheers. Okay, so once you've dried your eyes from the onions, what you want to do is you want to get your bacon and quite simply you can just, just cut it up with a pair of scissors, just however big you want it basically. So once you've cut your bacon, once you've diced your um, crying machines, what you want to do then is make the scrambled egg. Now scrambled eggs are ridiculously simple to do in the microwave, all you have to do is crack the eggs into the jug, get some milk, pour it in, stir it all together and then wang it in the microwave until it looks like a giant stay puff marshmallow thing from Ghostbusters. <gasps> if you've never seen that then in that case it's just basically really big and fluffy in the microwave and then you take it out and every, you know, a scrambled egg, everyone must know what scrambled egg is so that's cool. Actually, it's probably a good idea before you fry either the bacon, the onions, or you put the egg in the microwave, that you just get your rice, and it takes two minutes in the microwave. So if you do all of the rice at the same time right now, then by the time that all these things, like these two, are ready, you can just throw the rice in, do the egg in the microwave, and then by the time that the egg's done, you can just throw that in the wok and then mix it together. Because that's literally all you have to do for this. And so we have the stay puffed grambled egg. Now, what you want to do is, once you've got your scrambled eggs sorted, your rice is literally come out of the microwave, but these two should not have gone in by this point. Because the bacon and the onions should now literally be fried to just about perfection. So it's at this point you then add the rice, literally put the scrambled egg in, mix it all together, fry it off for about a minute, and then Bob's your uncle. And there we have it, literally a wok full of egg bacon fried rice. I reckon you can get about five portions maybe? I mean this is like four here. I on the other hand have a full portion here in my delightful measuring jug. Now what you can do is you can add a little bit of salt to these, you can add a little bit of pepper, but what I like to do is I like to drown it in Worcester sauce and it's just really tasty. So yeah, enjoy! Thank you very much for watching. This has been Uni Cooking with Peter, with me, Peter Jenkins, and this has been an incredibly impromptu episode. I hope you've enjoyed it though, and I, if you try it, do please let me know what you think. Great. Smashing. Bye.